if, if, you, know, listen, if you say that I'm one more getting... time, you will summon Celine Dion. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> tread, tread. And welcome back to Linux Gamecast, a weekly show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. This week, we're going to be talking about Google's new stadium thing that's not called Stadium, but it is the new face of gaming, and that's only if they don't kill it in 19 months. Um, the first battle royale with cheese to overcome to Linux is dead, and no one's really surprised about it. Do you want standard Spock or bearded Spock? Doesn't matter. Kronos is making the decision for you. And Glitch glitched out, and now you can pick through its corpse. Valve has updates, one of which only half borked the Linux client, and RTX gonna give it to you. Assuming you have a 10 series or newer NVIDIA GPU. I do. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> boys and girls, welcome back to another <laughs> Linux Gamecast Weekly. I'm Old Man Ven, that is Jordan Swing up in Canada, and the man on the island in Britannia is one Pedro Mateus. Hello. Together with Shad Realm Dynamic down there in the bottom, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. Um, what's up, Lance? I'm. Uh, Jordan, you wrote something. You get to go first. I, I, I I did after after like literal years of you complaining that I never write something there. I've taken to writing a book. I got stage yeah. fright, man. I saw I couldn't compete. I was like, ah, yeah. <laughs> um, it's fright. It is just frightening. Yeah, no, I'm. I, I think I'm almost done apartment hunting. I have a few more places I want to take a look at, but I'm pretty sure I settled on the location. And according to the internet, it's serviced by one point gigabyte fiber or one point gigabit fiber. <laughs> one I wish gigabyte. it was one point gigabyte fiber. That would be amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but oh but alas i'll have to deal with the measly anemic uh 938 megs up oh man every day will be a struggle and i will hate you each of those days <laughs> Pedro, what's <laughs> new on the Wait. island man uh well uh if you saw the news there was this whole big thing happening uh in london where a bunch of people got together and decided to march down to you know Stop Brexit. I, oh, I'm hopeful it'll do something. I'm not entirely sure what that something will be, but I'm hopeful it'll do something. Mostly because I like this place and I kind of want to stay here for a little bit longer, so please don't kick me out. Kick him out, UK. Kick him out! <laughs> Pet pecks it <laughs> Pex no, it. yeah no we, we we've decided that instead of the uk leaving the eu it's just gonna be pedro just pedro they That's just it. kick him out in the ocean sacrificial <laughs> like, listen we're, we're gonna get rid of one person just pedro yeah. oh man uh over here i've been going through the adventures of sticking together a thread ripping system and learning a lot about that that's yeah. Uh, having fun. Learned about the power supplies with the two EPS connectors. It's like, really? Of course. Why not? Flip table. And I, I'm kind of getting over it. I, I'm petting the uh, box of business, Tipsy Danger Mark II, kind of like uh, the young boy in Old Yellow. It's like, oh, I'm going to have to put you down soon, boy. But it's it's going to be all right. I'm going to shoot. Wait, for, for a second there, I thought you were implying that like they were going to shoot the little boy in Old Yeller. No, I'm like, I'm, I was implying. Man, I watched a very <laughs> different movie. Like we shoot the horse each and every week, you scrub. Yeah, the. I mean, the, the horse has been shot time and time again. I think we've just beat it into a fine white powder. It's a steam Linux. Up, up there, there we, we go. go. Up the Snort that horse! Hashtag snort that horse! <laughs> yes, so, uh, speaking of snorting things, Valve's apparently on some pretty strong medication because they decided to update the library, which is the one bit of the Steam client that hasn't been touched in years, and they've decided, you know what, it's probably it's so time pretty. to do something. Oh my god. Yeah. We had kind of hinted that they may be doing something about it because there was that GIF that they had in the About page that showed a very different library to what people were used to. And this is now the actual thing. It was presented at GDC. So you can look forward or, you know, dread the day that the update comes down the pipe and your library will end up looking like this. And yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's new and I hate it. Um... <laughs> I, I, I don't know um it it's it looks like it's not really changing much uh in the in the way of like where buttons are it's just making it a lot more like modern material designy type thing 
The other, the other thing they're introducing is events, uh, which attempts to like alert you on uh, reg regarding like sales or free weekends or DLC or shit like that. And they're saying, oh yeah, you can you can tie it into like your your Google Calendar and stuff. I'm like, it could it could be interesting, but I'm curious if they can strike a balance between like informative and just spamming you nonstop with garbage <laughs> to the point where like your phone goes off at like three o'clock in the morning. Oh, Jetset Radio has a new whatever, and you just pick up your phone and throw it across the room. <laughs> Consequently, you, you don't wake up for work the next morning because your alarm got shattered. What do you think? Um, I think it's kind of interesting and strange to see Valve in a reactionary pose for the first time since I've ever used the product. We need to do a thing. And we need to update <laughs> things and change. This started with a chat client. But really all I'm worried about is, like, does, well, let's still launch games. And don't, you know, still launch. That's all I care about. I yeah. That, yeah. that's what i use steam for launch game yeah also getting Although, into multiplayer lobbies yeah uh, and one of the things that i tried several times already to do is create a little collection for the games that i've finished and i've tried to do that at least three times in the past and three times uh, an update came down that said yeah that collection you created fuck you uh it's gone now and uh, one of the things that they highlight in this uh, text spot, uh, text spot hard are wow, article. wow, Pedro. <laughs> let's, let's, listen, it's article. Yes. It's it's article pro to pronounce. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no. One of the things they highlight is the fact that the collections will now be improved, and you can create automatic ones based on game tags and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But they do mention that you will be able to create your own. Yes. Will they actually let me create my own and let me keep it? No, because that's my question here. <laughs> um, no, no, yeah, absolutely, absolutely not. <laughs> hey, we do get a little bit of a news. Uh, Valve is getting a new employee, and that employee they, they, is going they, to work they, on they, Linux. Supposedly, mm -hmm. this is from Paul Fenwick's Twitter uh, at PJF, uh, and he's he's like, man, I have so many unplayed Steam games, and now I'm going to work for Steam, so now I'm going to have all the unplayed Steam games. <laughs> um, yeah, so he's going to be working to improve Linux as a gaming platform and work on modding-related things, whatever that means. So I guess the real question is, is he going to be on, like, Team Proton or something like that? Uh, or is he going to be working on one of the other projects that they do? Because Valve actually does bring stuff to Linux. They right. routinely mm -hmm. release stuff on Linux. Um so I'm curious if he's going to be working on one of those other teams or is he just going to be working to improve the integration with Proton? Maybe some Steam Workshop stuff because I know mods can be a little tricky when it comes to... Um, or getting mods working can be tricky when it comes to uh, doing low-level uh, API translation like that. Who knows? Well, getting mods working can be a lot tricky because capitalization too. Yeah, it's just yes. case-sensitive <laughs> file system. <laughs> uh, I... Could, could you imagine if that's like actually his job is just to like go in and like set up regular expression rules to like flip uh, to to like correct camel case and shit like this? To, oh, that shit will actually work. It's like winning and like I got a job at Valve. This is your purpose. I'm like, oh. you're, you're you're a glorified you know, said. Outside of that, just getting a new person working at Valve and one that is actually working on the Linux side of things. It's like, oh, Christmas came early or late however you want to look at it but yeah no that that that's great hmm. all right yeah. um speaking of twitter didn't give this quick mention like what's going on here um there oh he, he just kind of chimed in he's like yo man um we got some things coming up with vulcan and what is it become humans upcoming pc version that's an epic title right on the epic store uh no I don't know. It's from Epic Games. It's a David Cage oh, game. No. Yeah. <laughs> but Vulcan. And when I hear from Pierre, it's like, it usually has something to do with Linux. I don't know. Hey, maybe. Yeah. Or, 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 or like maybe the next tweet we're going to talk about. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't know. To me, to me, that sounds like, Hey, this will, this will be really quick to get up on the whitelist for Proton. I don't think we're going to get a native Linux version. I don't we know. Got, I, I, well, I want we, to believe, we got one for Fahrenheit. You know, registering we got one for behind me and all that. And uh, send us your thoughts on that. That was kind of weird. It just seemed very out of place for him. And I was like, what's this about, man? I don't know. Cause he yeah. normally tweets stuff like this. Yeah. So, uh, that, uh, heads up that he posted earlier on in the week 
was to let people know that the new Steam client, uh, well, the beta anyway, will need a glibc 219 as they're upgrading the Chromium embedded framework that basically the client runs on. And as long as you are, you, uh, you, yeah, you, yep, yep, yep. You, 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 you try you tried pedro yeah um we're going to have so, to reformat it right yeah so g g, g uh 2.19 uh is about ubuntu 1404 so you yeah. know if 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 your game is so here, here here's the thing right like we see we still to this day see a lot of developers like in the system requirements you need ubuntu 1204 and that is like seven years old now or like seven eight years old um mm -hmm. and yeah, you should probably move on to something a little newer when it comes to I, I want to say C libraries. Yeah, but I, it, it listen, it's, it's we, coming. I, I expect breakage and a lot of complaints about. We need, we need to shit pour one out for our uh, CentOS gamers out there, our homies. <laughs> no, no, they're uh, they're they're still good. Old sin. You know, people stuck uh, at work, man. No, they're like, they can't like upgrade. Like, oh, not 7.1 or 7.2, <laughs> Sense 7. Yeah, or if, if you, if for whatever reason, you're still stuck on Sense 6. Right. Yeah. It's like 7.5 so, 7, 7. has some fairly recent shit in there. Um, oh. yeah. Anyways. That's the thing. No, right. it's... Battle uh, Royale. Anything that's... Dev Diary. Five... It's a beautiful thing. Uh, so long. Farewell. Greetings, contestants. You remember the culling? It's that one thing we tried to play. <laughs> oh. Well, we... we we got out. We got out of the elevator, and we got into the field, and then the game would crash. That's pretty much it. It was like a what TV show type. It was battle royale. You like yeah. came up out of the ground, and that happened. Pedro, this had like a sticky origin story to it, though, didn't it? It uh, origin story. Well, not so much because when it started, it was actually really nice, and people really got into it when it first came out in early access. Then they changed a few things, and more games came out, and they lost a bunch of people that were playing the game. And then uh, it uh, they decided, you know what? Let's release the Culling Two and just make it a complete ripoff of a uh, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. And it was about as well received as you would expect. Everyone. Oh, so laughed they tried to them. pull a Fortnite and didn't get away with yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> well, everyone I mean, just left them out of existence. Basically, they said, "You know what? We'll just cancel uh, the Culling too, and we'll start to focus on uh, the original Culling." And I'm guessing that didn't, you know, do any favors when it came to morale in the uh, development team. So yeah, it doesn't really surprise me. Well, they 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 call it out specifically in this uh, little open letter they have um, that yeah they they were kind of hoping that in-app purchases on the calling one would actually make the game profitable, and that's kind of the two-edged sword, right? Is like mm -hmm. maybe if if you have if you cultivate a good fan, fan base who is like willing to spend money on small things, yeah, you can you can have a sustainable game model based on that, uh, but. If you don't, then your game's gonna tank. That's why you have to go after children. That's why. That's why Epic was good with Fortnite, right? It's like <laughs> these, these children have no impulse control, and they have parents who don't pay attention to their credit card bills. So Th this is go. true. Um, when it went free to play, we tried it. We tried it in the after show, and we got a gang of people in, and it was a nope cascade. If you don't know what that is, it's like Rocket League back in the day. We'd be playing the after show, have eight people in it, would just chain crash for everyone. We mm -hmm. couldn't get in. Didn't perform. It was running on Unreal Engine, though, and that was part of the curiosity of yep. it. Mm -hmm. Like, hmm. I mean, it did launch. It's never connected correctly. Uh, I still think it's a better love story than Crazy Justice. Uh, oh, yeah. I.e. I, I, getting and, uh, just shit cans. I, I just want to point out... Uh, Go after children. Jordan's Fung, 2019. <laughs> Listen, the tobacco industry figured that out years ago. <laughs> the alcohol industry's been doing it. The gambling industry's been doing that. I'm just saying, if you want to make money, you have to target children with your advertising. True words. You can take never been spoken. All right. Um, Delta, v, um, Delta V. Yeah. Right. Delta. Yeah. Delta V. The rings of Saturn. Because uh, Steam doesn't like, uh, I guess, Latin characters in their URIs. But uh, they... They do. They do have a demo, by the way. Um, this is a game where you're basically playing the uh, Canterbury from the Expanse. You're just uh, you're an asteroid miner. You're collecting ice. Um, it's uh, there's a focus on uh, physics-based controls, so it's going to play similar to Retro Booster, where you have to fight gravity, you have to manage your thrust, you have to manage your acceleration, and yeah, um, it, it it has it has some very German system requirements, at least when I checked. <laughs> 
Um, uh, they, 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 they fixed it Early, earlier this week when I looked at it. Uh, all the system requirements were in German, but the rest of the article was in English. Uh, that's, that's, what, that's why I put that in the show notes. Um, but yeah, uh, it's, it's a coming spoon, but you can check out the demo now and see if this is the type of game that you like. Hopefully it's not priced too ridiculous. Uh, maybe yeah, like the and 10, it, the, the 2D, range. the asteroid mining type of situation. Uh, the I, I it's kind of been done to fucking death. Yeah, it has. And you'd think in 2019, with game engines like Unity and Godot that actually do 3D really, really well, that people wouldn't do this 2.5D of having fully 3D rendered stuff in a 2D plane. Just, you know, 3D. Make it different. Come on. <laughs> this kind of boils back to the thing I said a while back of one thing about modern day engines is it you get enhanced programmer art. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess 3D would add one extra dimension to the whole. Go oh, try yeah, the I'm demo. Maybe, a video maybe it's your jam. Uh, it doesn't cost I, you. I, uh, I, I mean, at, at least from a at least from a design perspective, though, like doing a 3D uh, game like that would probably be a lot more uh, substantial in terms of effort required than something 2D. So hmm. I don't yeah. I don't know what the size I don't know what the size of Codera software is. They may just be like a one or two man team. So. Ladies and gentlemen, we do have to put the horse to rest this week, but. It's not the Night's Watch, but at least for this week, we have to start an epic, epic watch. We might as well. The, the, I mean, what, we the, be the sword in the darkness? Them. Shut up, Crow. <laughs> Read. Dance monkey. So, the gamer has a bit of an article about uh, Mr. Sweetie himself saying that developers will decide who wins the game Star Wars, not consumers. Not, I not would Star make Wars. The argument, no, no, Star Wars. Uh, I would make the argument that if you replace developers with greed, then that sentence starts to make a hell of a lot more sense. What if you because... replaced it with winning, Pedro? What uh, if you replaced it with nacho cheese? No, you could just replace it with money because that's what Epic is doing. Nacho and, cheese uh, is this... winning. What the hell, man? <laughs> this is uh, like a little bit of a extrapolation article based on something that Tim Sweeney said about you know developers being the ones who get to choose where their game goes and people will have to follow the developers if they want to play their games but the like the justification that they put behind it i personally don't agree with because it's yeah epic is paying developers money to make them exclusive to the epic store and they're giving developers a higher cut of each sale. So well, basically, so, we're talking about greed here, not developers. I mean, I mean, well, 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 welcome to living in a capitalist society, right. Pedro. That that's kind of that's kind of the name Portugal. of the game, right? <laughs> I, 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 just, I just want to point it out, but that photo at the top of the article kind of makes Tim Sweeney look like a dollar store line with Tarvalds. <laughs> um, that, that was my first reaction when I saw that. Uh, but yeah, Tim Tim's stance here is a little weird because. Yeah, you're not really making this. I, I don't. I'm not sure if they're making the store better a uh, better experience for developers, like Pedro said. Really, they're just throwing a bunch of financial incentives in front of them. Um, the Epic Store, as it currently stands from a usability perspective, is pretty bad, at least from the mm -hmm. consumer side. And I think Tim is really overestimating how far gamers are willing to go in order to get the games that they want to play. Um, if you're, if you're, if you're going to give them a very poor quality of life when stuff like steam or GOG or even like putting efforts to making the user experience better, I'm not going to, I'm not going to like try and stub my toe to get free games. Um, okay. But you, you're thinking of it. Like I would think of it and like Pedro's thinking of it. You're not thinking of it as I'm 12 and I got a PC because all my friends are playing Fortnite and the only game store I ever used was Epic. And now Epic's like, shit, well, we got them here. Let's start selling them some extra shit. I, I mean, there, there, there's a lot of conjecture going on, right? And Tim, Tim and Team Epic seem, or Team Sweeney, as we should call it, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Team, Team Sweeney seems pretty confident that their their method um, is going to win outright. I mean, they 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 have the guy who is doing a Steam Spy. Supposedly, they they've been using him to gather a ton of business intelligence for a good long time. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Until if they Valve can, sues if, somebody if, for industrial espionage. No, but no, no. They, they, what universe that, that, do that's, you live in? <laughs> that, that's 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 the thing. When you have a public API that you can use to scrape data, you're kind of you kind of throw that defense out the window. <laughs> um, 
but there, there's um th- there's a lot more to the story uh that i want to save for the third story in this epic watch all right section. so let's get on to but, the yeah. second one mm-hmm. uh online yeah. services supporting nearly 250 million players launch operate scale great games one sdk sdk no god damn it pedro um <laughs> everything is included yeah man this is uh epic works whatever you want to call it why are you talking about this well if i do this magic trick on the web page Linux is supposed to show up somewhere, and it doesn't. Uh, there's not? the Linux logo at the top there. Ah. <laughs> ah. Where's it at? Where's that? Scroll up. Scroll up. No. <laughs> it's at the very top of the thing. <laughs> there, yeah, there, there we go. There, there's a little tuxedo. It's in the text. Continue. As you were. Uh, I have no doubt that Epic is going to give developers the tools to support Linux. Just not... I don't think they're going to be doing it directly, question mark. Yeah, in, in varying states of completion is my callery to that as well. I mean, again, Valve releases a lot of software on Linux that like can be directly ingested Hot. and utilized. Found it right here. Yeah. What right, platforms will Epic Online Services support? Uh, Windows, Mac, and Linux. Play, PlayStation, I, Xbox, and Android Switch and iOS support will be added. So Linux is listed up with the ones that like, hey, this is going to be coming out. And what we're definitely not saying is this will ever, ever happen. Oh, it's a I, I, I don't know. <laughs> G- given given their existing level of support for Linux, I'm not holding my breath. Mm. Yeah. Going to be like pro- that? Pro- it, prove, me, prove me wrong, Epic. Prove me wrong. Here's the thing, though. I mean, yeah. all right. Let, this is not really lined up. And I'm just saying theoretically, okay. They're showing this, and they're just going to prove us all wrong. And Epic's like, next week rolls out. Yeah, here's Linux client with all that other stuff. Are you, are you or are you not going to have a very confused hate boner for Epic all of a sudden? I will gonna, remain skeptic, but I will accept it. Mostly because I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, on Linux. <laughs> I'm going to do the Google thing where it's like, okay, Google introduced this really cool new service. How long until they kill it? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Pedro, you have some thoughts. Yeah, if they're so keen on showering developers with money, it's like, oh yeah, make your game exclusive and we'll pay you a shit ton of money. If you say exclusive one more time, I'm muting you. (laughs) Bring it. So why not do the same for multiple platforms? Say, look, you release, you make the game available on Windows, Mac, and if they ever release the Linux client on Linux as well, and we'll give you an extra shit ton of money. I don't see them doing that. I don't see anyone doing that. Uh, yeah, Steam, it, looking at you right now. Um, Val, 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 taking Val the would AMD definitely approach, be the people to do that. Yeah, to, like taking the AMD approach of giving everyone uh, out there the access to the source code, the tools, everything else, like Epic has been doing with Unreal Engine 4 and whatnot, is great, but not incentivizing its use. Well, we kind of know exactly where that uh, landed mantle when it was uh, AMD's idea. It wasn't until it turned into Vulcan that people actually started using it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, yeah. uh, R- Rami Ismaili has some thoughts. Uh, you might know him from Nuclear Throne. There's a little article on PC Games and the link to all this in our show notes that extracts uh, some information from an interview. And the thesis is it sucks to be Valve. Um, the Epic Store is uh, giving developers a better deal. And if um, and if uh, Valve wants to continue to uh, get their business, um, they need to do something to improve the quality of life for developers. Now, there's there's a line in here that I take issue with. Um, uh, it's it said that uh, Epic has outbusinessed Valve. No, I would classify a business as like implementing like a strategy that slowly saps away um, Valve's market share. Um, in this case, what they've done is they've just thrown a bunch of money at the problem and hope that that will solve itself. Um, I will say though that Rami's perspective on the NDC is pretty unparalleled. He's been he's been embedded in it for a good a long while, and he knows this stuff as a programmer. So he's right about a lot of uh, indie devs. Uh, his perspective on um, Steam screwing them over uh, because of the algorithmic based sorting mm-hmm. is one hundred percent true. Oh, um, yeah. There are, there are there are a lot of developers who are not getting the exposure that they need through Steam in order to sell their games uh, in exchange for or and Valve is promoting like more. Um, financially back games in their stead or more just whatever is popular that week which you know when you're a small indie dev you 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 have to fight tooth and nail for your audience 
and mm -hmm. you need all the assistance you can get. So a, a vote of support from Epic is very attractive when it comes to uh, when it when it comes to the developer standpoint. However, um, however, if the Epic Store is going to get a lot more popular, there's going to be a lot more stuff being put on there. Uh, and Epic's going to start running into a lot of the same problems that Valve is running into vis-a-vis -vis the total number of games there and the quality they're in, how to market the appropriate games to those people. And well, and I don't think uh, Epic will be able to compete very much by just not being the other guy for very long. Now, Tim made a little thing, but Ben, you want you want to you want to you want to say? Yeah. Um. If Epic could do one thing, now we said not even years ago, probably earlier this year. Steam's good. Steam's done a lot, and Valve has done a lot for Linux. But the only thing Steam's never really had in recent memory is competition. And you only have to be just better. And one thing Tim said, and I'll give him credit for this if they stick to it, is they will not have... They're going to have curation on the fucking store. You're not going to be able to get shock games on there. You're not going to be able to get low effort, just shovelware card simulators so basically sweetie could walk out and say hey remember how valve used to be that's a pretty good sell R right until, also, until to the store uh, also to your point they also said we're not going to be able to cut checks to sign exclusives forever that's going to come to an end mm-hmm and mm -hmm. remains to be seen exactly how many develop how many new developers they will be getting after they stop doing that. Uh, it's it's an interesting time. It is. Uh, the only bit that isn't interesting is the fact that Epic has been treating Linux like a third rate citizen, and well, as people who are on Linux over here, I it kind of sucks for us. It's. We're, all we're getting is the shaft when it comes to Epic, and yeah. I, it's just more and more games that we don't even have the Proton fallback option. It's like, oh, it runs on a client that doesn't even work with regular wine. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're, 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 we're still stuck in that gilded cage of what Steam. Gonna say? I mean, I, I'm torn 100% because... First of all, I mean, with the whole Epic thing, is it going to be better for developers or, as we've seen, better for publishers when they do the last minute of, wait, what? Then you have the developers going, what? Oh, so we're not on Steam? Oh, we, we were just uploading achievements like an hour ago. Okay, <laughs> news to us. But I see being torn because Valve needs competition. They've been needing competition. They've been in a state of reaction not doing anything pro and I got to be honest with you. Got to really be honest. You know, there, there's a small little part of me. It's a real fucking big part of for being honest that rather enjoys watching Val scrambling, trying I, to I, get I, their shit together for once competition I, in this case is good, but being torn back to that point. Yeah, I get it. Cause Valve has been good to us. Also valve needs to get, Better. It needs to improve its services. Indeed. Um, although I, I, I think, I think, shit was, um, I had a brain fart. Um, <laughs> Winning. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, I, 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 I think, the, I think the, I think the main thing here is, I think it would, uh, the Epic Store would have been a lot more well received if it actually came out as like a finished product and like, oh, not, oh, we're scraping your data. Oh, we don't have a bunch of features implemented. If mm -hmm. Epic had come to the floor and been like, hey, we have something. It's not at feature parity with Steam, but it's got 80% of what you need to get like, to actually like utilize a game launching client. Does the matchmaking? It does a friends list, uh, and it will launch your games. If they if they could get something like that out, I th I feel that maybe people would be a little more receptive. Oh, As it stands, this is basically just we're giving a bunch of developers money to use our immature platform, and we're going to force you as the end users to use this immature platform. They're going to they're not and forcing anyone to use it. Period. That is a choice you can make. But yeah, well, Epic the, walked the, the, out. Epic walked out to play fucking ball, though. You got to give them that. That's what it took to get Valve to go. Oh, we got to do something. I don't like how they did it, but they did it and they got a they got the reaction we've all been like, "Hey man, Valve, do things mm, now." Yeah. 
<laughs> it's, it, it, it's it's true whether, whether this will be to the good and detriment or detriment of us is yet to be revealed it hit Finally. valve exactly where it needed to it took away the games mm. you mean the money yes yes the developers yeah i mean that's, that's, that's the, the, yeah, that's, that's that's the real yeah. that's the real mm -hmm. reason that uh valve that seems gonna fail they got rid of the movies <laughs> the epic store took <laughs> them all <laughs> don't worry artifact 2 will save them Right. Artifact 2, the, the movie, Electric Boogaloo. Coming up next. Oh my god, I'll be able to play uh, Ray Tracing Quake with this video card I have. It'll run at like three frames a second, but I can do it. Find out how. Boy, that was a long segment, wasn't it? Nope. So before we go on, there's plenty more news coming up. But before we go on, we need to thank you. for but Wait, well, wait, Pedro, what are we going to do before we go on? <laughs> we need to thank people. <laughs> but what are we going to do before we go on? If, if you, listen, if you say that I'm one more fucking me? time, you will summon Celine Dion. <laughs> careful. <laughs> tread, tread careful. Forward. <laughs> Listen, near, far, wherever you are, if you want to, if you want to support uh, this nightmare fuel and support us singing more Celine Dion songs, no. you can, uh, you can, uh, you can. There are many, many ways to support us. You can head on, uh, you can head on over to uh, the support the show page at linuxgamecast.com, where there's all sorts of links you can click to give us money. You can head on over to our Patreon, where you can get a bunch of cool stuff in exchange for said money. Uh, like access to our Discord. Or if you're giving us 250 a week, you can get some show note access. So you can yell at us before we even go live. Doesn't that excite you? Doesn't that titillate you? If not, maybe it's not for you. Maybe you just want to show your support by wearing a bunch of Linux GameCast apparel for whatever reason. I don't, I don't know. Man, you just but, keep you know, like throwing down bad ideas. I don't know, man. Yeah, st store store that linuxgamecast.com. You can buy like a mouse pad with a chair on it. People will <laughs> be like, what's that about? And you could be like five dudes oh man we actually do need to do some five dudes merch yeah um, i know we, we got a weak merch game we got a good merch game it's just limited it's not weak it's just we, small i mean our, our good merch game is the fucking hellux hoodie and the francophile t-shirt hey, you know what we're not trying to fuck you on the price either no yeah. no we, we fuck you on the quality that's what we do um <laughs> we're, that's the show <laughs> not the merchandise uh, little Except column, for that first one of mugs, yeah. Hey yeah. man, collector's item. Shut your whore mouth. Uh, we 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 got, we got a wish list too. Running running this shit is expensive. It requires quite a bit of hardware. We're building a Threadripper system soon for Ven to let us host more people, so we can have interviews and more than us three on the show. Because you want that. You're tired no, you of looking don't. at us. And if you buy stuff off the off the uh, wish list, oh, you can make it onto Jesus. Frank's fuck wall. Yeah, wide shot, bitch. Fine. <laughs> Maybe I need to not, sell that as advertising space. Yeah, not not brought to you by Acer anymore. <laughs> Fuck those guys. Brought to you by Yolo. Acer. Buy yeah. Acer if you want your computer parts to break all the time. You How about pay us money to, to say otherwise? Humble Indie Bundle <laughs> 20 came out, and we got an extra one. Not like the cheap one, though. We got the full fuck mothering Monty, the one that even comes with Hippitus and the Hoppitus. And we want to give you nope, a yeah. yeah, it's been a while since yeah. we've done, uh, hang on. A way of good. Had I go on it, I think. I don't know. I'm not 100% on that. <laughs> I, 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 didn't hear, I didn't hear any of it. I just thought you were, I thought you were just being a jackass. <laughs> I, I, all right. You, you found me out, damn it. Uh, <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it. Yeehaw. Come on to me. <laughs> so, uh, we like to keep this friction free. Uh, after hours of careful thought and deliberation in the 10 minutes between segments, we came up with, I'm going to post the show tomorrow on Twitter. That's uh, at Vin Stone, because I thought six people would ever watch the show, and I didn't create one for the show, so we just used my personal one. Yeah. I will post the show tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern, if you retweet it with hashtag LGC cares, so I can search for it, we'll randomly pick one next week, and we always deal what we promise. You know, if we say we're going to give you something, we'll give it. Yeah, yes. It's, uh, I think that's friction free enough, right? Yeah, I, I, I may have to give you, I may have to give you a bunch of Steam keys, but you know, it'll, it'll be fine. Um, <laughs> we'll make it happen. <laughs> We'll, 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 we'll figure it out. All right. Hey, thank you, beautiful people. Keeping us loud, live, and independent. This is not brought to you by a mattress. All right. NVIDIA, ray tracing. Oh, yeah. So, RTX NVIDIA on. got tired of everyone pooping on uh, Battlefield 5 and 
what was the other game that introduced it recently, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and how those games work with RTX. And the fact that the people who had older Pascal cards were unable to access those new features. Well, uh, there's a bit of news that they're deciding, you know what, let's just enable Pascal for everyone that has a Pascal that's the 10 series uh, GPU. And it's, there's there will be a driver update and it will enable... Um, sort of software uh ray tracing it's uh it'll use basically all of the pascal cards have uh more CUDA cores than the uh rtx ones and because that space in the rtx uh gpu was you know necessary to have the rtx and the tensor cores so let's let people use those extra cores to emulate some type of gpu ray tracing that doesn't have dedicated specifically build hardware for it oh and uh Pit, Pit, Pitcher, i have, to, I have yes. to interrupt you for something very very important we forgot to mention this we gotta thank joel who uh oh, right. increased their pledge on oh, patreon yes. that yeah. that is yes he did we com- we completely spaced on that <laughs> people giving us money is more important than you talking this, Pedro. this is what happens when we have more than one thing to do at a time yes <laughs> that, that's, that's fair no, that's totally fair thank you joel uh yes. but yeah so Keep an eye on the uh, drivers if you have a 10 series card and if you want to play around with the uh, ray tracing, which on Linux you have Quake 2? But there's a story well, coming up on Quake that. You have Quake 2, so. but I'm going to go ahead and throw <laughs> this out, man. Um, okay, I have a 2060 RTX on and admittedly, yeah, I even did a video. I was like, yay, I'm going to use these tensor cores once. And that was it. <laughs> <laughs> so at 1080p, it, it could chug along um, at 45 FERPs on a good day. To which I yeah. will say, this running even on a 1080 Ti, that same demo, it's like, you think ray tracing runs like dog shit on a 2060? Just just wait until you get a taste. Oh, uh, yeah. They're, they're, they're definitely saying in the article, like, the performance here will not be good because, mm-hmm. you know, you got... Specialized tensor ray tracing. But you got to think about who it's cards. for, baby. It, it, it's 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 really it's really for developers who right. want to like test those features yeah. to entice um, them. Yes, to to upgrade because you know developers don't have a lot of money. Maybe they will on the Epic Store once uh-uh. they make millions from all the money that Epic's <laughs> dumping on them. What you thought we were done with that? We're we're never done with nope. it. Um, RTX, it's on. Um, yeah. All right. Indeed. So uh, we're we're talking about this. Uh, the ray tracing. Twi- Ray twacing version. Ray twacing. Um, is it Ray twacing? Ray twacing. Yeah, I'm the Ray tra- after this. <laughs> yeah, the ray tracing version of uh, Quake Two. Um, so, some someone put that together as a bit of a demo. Turns out that they used to work uh, in related in relation to Nvidia. Uh, so the folks at intern. Nvidia, re- yeah, he was an intern. Um, so the folks at Nvidia reached out and said, like, "Hey, it's cool that you're doing this with ray tracing. Would you like some help?" And he's like, "Yes, yes, Nvidia, I would like some help." Um. And yeah, I, I mentioned when we talked about the story, this would be a really good reference project for folks who are looking to implement ray tracing in their game and looking for a functional example on how to do that. It looks I fucking mean, like, gorgeous. It yeah, it, it looks like fucking it looks like Quake Quake Two, but it, the the lighting is like amazing. Look at that shit. It's yeah, and they start. Fully, this is when they start doing the comparison shots. Yeah, look at that. That's the original one. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, this this is with all the improvement. It's all it's all done in Vulcan. That's using the Vulcan ray tracing extensions mm-hmm. that are available through the Nvidia drivers. I wonder, um, I wonder if it'll go over forty five frames a second now, because apparently what they did do is um, amongst the improvements that um, Nvidia made to this demo, uh, they added SLI support. So if you have if you're if you're really yellow about that RTX on, you got the two twenty sixties or the two twenty eighties. I'm curious if you'll be able to be able to push this. Uh, I don't know, like maybe. 65 frames a second? I don't know, quite possibly. <laughs> Something we do need to point out is they are using um, some HD texture packs. These are not the They, they, they are. Yeah. This, this is not what Quake 2 looks like normally at all. They're, they're messing with my childhood. I mean, my childhood, man. I think it was like 20 when that game came out, but still. <laughs> your, your, your man childhood. Yes, <laughs> which I'm still living. Indeed. Uh, it's, it's, looking it's forward to it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try it. There's a guide on Linux Gamecast if you want to build... The original, they said it's going to be out later this month, so... Mm-hmm. Neat? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to try it when they uh, introduce the RTX bits for the 10 series on the Linux drivers. I'm certainly going to try it, because I tried the path tracing one, and I could hit a whopping 28 
frames see, a second. I yeah, want both maybe. of you to run it because this is the one thing my video card is faster than yours. <laughs> right, right. Like I'm, 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 I'm curious how the 1080 Ti reacts to this. I, I feel like get, a, a Vega 64 bed. user going, "Yo, what about compute scores?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why didn't you uh, try it in OpenCL? Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, you know, you know, what's definitely going to be using OpenCL is the new Atari console. Of course not. Boom. Uh, GLES. I don't know, man. <laughs> Atari VCS AMD update. It's going to be powered by the 14 nanometer AMD Ryzen APU with Radeon Vega graphics. Right, man. None of that old school nasty stuff. This, I just want to throw it in. They're going to be using Zen apparently, but the only thing I took away from this article, hard OCP, all this business in our show notes, is that the Atari VCS is still in the idea phase because you don't have <laughs> shit taped out if you're like, yeah, we're just going to change change the CPU in it. Oh, that's, that's, what, uh, that's yeah. what the Smach Z was about. Like, oh yeah, we're, we're totally upgrading the CPU. We're getting a brand new board. Great. So the Smash Z actually had a brilliant strategy of leading people along until the technology existed for them to make the product six years true. later right true um yeah so okay okay google remind me in december and check if this is in vaporware because they're saying oh yeah end of the year um but re really all this means is that they're getting a cheapo uh, dual core athlon in this little console thing which i guess is yeah. not a terror uh, if the at the price point they're trying to target it's probably not the worst decision they could have made um, yeah, because when but, they say, "Oh, it's a 14 nanometer Ryzen APU," oh, okay, look, it's so DJ it could, be a tw could be a 2400G, a 2200G, or one of the GE series, or the Athlon uh, 200GE series. And considering <laughs> the type of market that they're going for, yeah, those teeny tiny little Athlons, dual core, four threads, Vega three, 35 watts. That's about half the price of uh, what you'd need to pay if you were going with an Intel processor that would give you the same graphical acceleration. Yeah, it, it, it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I look at it like this. I mean, it, they've already stated that it's going to run Linux, so I'm, I'm good with that. If they can keep the price down, it might actually just make for a good media box, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> I, I mean, keep... every... Oh, go on. No, no, I didn't know <laughs> I was, I was just going to say, every time I see the VCS name, I just keep thinking it's the Atari version control system. It is. Secretly. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just, yeah, they just, they just sold you a box that's running Git. <laughs> so, ladies, uh, Google had a little announcement earlier this week that uh, Pedro and I showed up and we put it in a little window and we talked over the important bits you were trying to hear. A lot of people tuned in. They're like, oh, what? Vulcan and Linux? Oh, this means all games are coming to Linux from that. No, it doesn't. However, <laughs> Google overcomes Stadia's biggest obstacle. <laughs> Which fucking won, Gizmodo? Which fucking won? This is going to be the cloud gaming thing. Uh, following in the uh, dumpster fires of OnLive and whatever NVIDIA is doing. And Steam's letting you roll your own recently. And... All of it's going to kind of eat shit, but they rolled out on GDC. Also, I, I want to point out, this is the controller. That's the controller. Mm -hmm. Looks like a regular ass controller. First three minutes, totally by accident, I called it. You, that, that's <laughs> got the Wi-Fi and the internals needed to play Stadia on anything that will accept the input. So it's Chromecastic. But they think mm. they got it down, man. They're, they're going to roll it out, edge servers, people can test it. However, however, I don't think I'm... It's going to be that hot, man, because what we didn't get in this announcement is, first of all, I'll go ahead and say that I was in the beta for this, Strider was too, and I have so-so internet, I, you know, 835, 30. <laughs> yes, so-so. Yeah. So. Okay, I fully understand, <laughs> but see, I'm covering my bases. I know some people would punch a kitten to get that internet, but there's also people going, I have fiber, what, show what? Loser. One more month. One more month, motherfucker. <laughs> right. See, then we'll be laughing. Then this guy's going to be like, oh, you scrub with your crap internet. <laughs> um, I, just want, I just want to get the nice little middle point. Um, there's a video from, I recorded how much it was using up and down. Down, I was getting about 20 megabits. And up, it was just using like nothing, like maybe 15 at max. And what did it look like? It. What I said then, it looked like you were controlling a live stream. If you're on Twitch... Watching somebody play, it's like you control it. That type of quality, it's not horrible, but it's not something I would want to sit in front of and play. 
However, what they what we didn't get, no info on price, uh, no info on how you get the games, how do you buy them, uh, Play Store, no real data bit requirements, and they're like, hey man, this is going to be available in 4K, and it's going to be a thing. Uh, everybody I've heard that has got to actually touch it in its recent, most recent incarnations, and it's kind of comparable to console gaming like your Xbox One S or anything like that. Kind of feels more like an announcement versus a launch. Yeah, we're. I mean, the 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 scarcity of information. I th- I think we can fill in the blanks. Google has sort of been positioning the Play Store to be like their one stop media place. So I'm pretty sure if uh, if there's going to be a place to be buying games, it's going to be through the Play Store. Um, the yeah, the the big announcement is that it's going to be using Linux and Vulkan on the back end, and some people were getting really excited about that. Ethan Lee, flippity bit of boop, bibbity bobbity boop. I had had some interesting thoughts on Twitter, where basically, yeah, the Stadia version, quote unquote, will probably never actually be released. It'll be an internal port that uses a bunch of stuff that is Google specific. He's hoping maybe there'll be an SDL two backend so that he can support that shit. But you know. If if if, if, uh, if wishes if wishes and nuts were I don't know something or other some some adage either, either, either way I gotta say though man game mods gone oh, oh yeah or, done or you know playing a game in offline mode if you don't have an internet connection you're fucked um, so yeah. if you live in a rural area or urban areas that are just poorly serviced because Submarine. you know AT and T has decided to like not mm-hmm. roll out service to that area because fuck you that's why. What if you got data bit live... caps? Or, or yeah, if you have yeah, if you I was gonna say if you live in Canada, so if you have data caps, <laughs> um, that that's yeah. what worries me because especially in North America, well, in the America, uh, all the guys, I think in Canada as well. They, they've they been fighting tooth and nail to get that in place because they're not dumb. They know this future's coming, not just with this, but with all media. And they don't right, want to be dumb yep. pipes. They want to be able to charge you with tiers. Oh, would you like a gaming tier? Oh, yeah, that that, mm-hmm. that, that, is, that is definitely coming. These applications are so latency sensitive. Um, like, in, in, input prediction can only do so much. Mm-hmm. Um, like there, there's that video of the guy moving the mouse and it's, it's minor, but it's definitely noticeable if you're playing shooters or anything that's sort of latency sensitive. Yeah. You will be screwed. Um, that's something to worry about. And I, I want to say this to all of, um, our windows brethren out there and sister, take a good look because this is the future <laughs> of your desktop gaming experience for you. And it doesn't look like it's going to be a great one. No. And you know. If anyone has the money and the infrastructure to pull this off, it's Google. And to the point about the uh, Stadia versions never coming out in public, uh, with Google throwing that much money at that particular ecosystem, while, yeah, most definitely those versions will never see the light of day outside of Stadia, as a result, I do hope that those tools and everything that they create do end up coming out and we start to see a lot more native Linux development. So when they cancel it, when they kill the project, <laughs> hopefully they'll release. And they open source it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, so how, how how much you want how much you want to bet too? Because like Google and Valve have actually been working kind of closely through uh, Lunar Glass. Mm-hmm. They sort of mm-hmm. have split them in two to work on a lot of Vulcan development. Uh, I'm curious if uh, if really what it's going to be is there's going to they're just going to be using like some version of wine with the xvk and just streaming that shit i don't that's, know working that... with a vulcan on top of that uh, and amd is going to be powering the um compute side of this i i, I don't know if mm-hmm. you're going to be able to get away with that what i did want to bring up and i forgot to put in the show notes my apologies is valve okay you got one shot at this i mean i i don't think this is going to make it this is not ready for prime time but we've talked about it like an all you can eat twenty dollar a month. I can download any three games I can have downloaded and play, and I'm renting them from you, Valve. Put that in place so I can play them locally and tier it. You know, five dollars a month I can download one game, but I can swap it out anytime I want. Developers will get on board with that more so than going through a fucking rewrite to get on this. So Plus, sort of like mm-hmm. a like a Netflix click queue almost exactly like that. Yeah, you yeah. get the system in place, but. Also, you got to think, how are you going to pay for this? Um, or, or th- they're going to put ads. Okay, think about this. You know, they showed uh, changing the textures and shit on the games, you know, mm-hmm. in like real time. Think about that, except turn those textures and shit into different ads. 
in game. Oh god, yeah. Could, could, could you imagine like all of a, all of a sudden you're playing like Batman and he turns into Ronald McDonald? That'd Dude, be it's terrifying. Be Pepsi, and they can change it in each experience for you, baby. Yeah. And oh yeah. You're and walking, and you're, you're playing something like GTA and you're driving down the street and all the neon signs and whatnot. They're right. actually real world no, products. Skyrim. Oh, 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 yeah. The, 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 this is some like fucking altered carbon minority report <laughs> shit we're talking about. Yeah. The dragons like, are going to be like Red Bull dragons. It's going to well, be awesome. Yeah. Fuck it. Like I've been saying this for years. Welcome to the fucking cyberpunk dystopia. We're living it right now. All, mm-hmm. all, all I need is to grow some fucking elf ears, and we're basically in Shadowrun. Uh, all right. <laughs> get it done. Okay. RPCS. Okay. So uh, one of our uh, favorite uh, brand of insane people working on a very insane project, basically making uh, PS3 emulation possible, uh, they put out the report for January 2019. And with this one, there's uh, 38 more games that are now in the playable state, 71, which... Uh, 71 more that at least let you get in game and an ever dwindling count of games which either only start or just you get into the main menu and you can see the intro movie but can't actually play it those are actually coming down at a reasonable pace they uh introduced audio buffering into the emulator to get rid of crackly underruns which is very important especially if you're on a slower system or a system running pulse audio. Uh, Ooh, more progress. Mode. Aww. Yeah. That, that was. No, that they was got rid f- of that. Oh, <laughs> Jason! My skin! My skin! Please help me, my skin! <laughs> yeah, they made more progress on the on screen keyboard, which uh, some games require a certain output when the game sends out the request for the on screen keyboard. They w- expect certain information to be put on screen. And some games were freezing because they couldn't uh, send that information. And they fixed that and they fixed the uh, on screen keyboard integration, which is great. Uh, there's a whole gang of uh, new improvements and fixes that have also been added. And I. The one game I'm still waiting for is like, okay, how about The Last of Us? I went into their compatibility list. No, it gets in-game status, but it gets like five FPS. So, yeah, not there yet. <laughs> yeah, the, the the PS3 version of that isn't the... Def- people are people are saying that the Xbox version is kind of the definitive version of Last of Us. The PS3 mm. version had some issues, but mm. I mean, being able to play it under Linux would be nice as well. Right. Yeah, the that 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 number that number of playable games is slowly but surely increasing, and this this is yep. what I like to see. Um, I'm down with it. Still, still a better love story than Bayonetta on a Wii emulator. Yeah. <laughs> you can get um, Simu running in wine, and apparently, it runs really well. Apparently, my <laughs> want to play Bayonetta two and my self hatred. <laughs> that Venn diagram's not together yet. See, I, I I have a Switch, so I could just buy it on a Switch Store. Have fun. All right. Uh, PlayStation 4, man. You know, we, oh, yes. we often talked, you know, with the current generation, Xbox and PS4 being x86, Jaguar cores. Uh, yeah, man, emulators are going to take two seconds to do, right? Mm, Apparently not. So not. <laughs> yeah, so uh, there's a bit of a project which is coming from Alex Altea or Altea, Alti, uh, and it's called Orbital, and it is a work in progress PS4 emulator, and it's based on uh, QE Mu, and you have to basically dump your own uh, BIOS and you can't just do a dump from the currently running system and just dump whatever's in RAM and then go through that. No, you actually have to run the decoder as you power on the console and do a bunch of other stuff to get it to work correctly. And it's really not friendly and uh, they specifically say it's like, look, this isn't user friendly right now. This is just for people who want to look at it and maybe help with the um with the implementation but yeah it is very early days and none of the like auto magical building tools are available just yet but yeah. it's some definitely something to keep an eye on it kind it kind of reminds me of getting like uh, the PlayStation 2 emulators working cuz you need a you need a dump of a bios for uh, for yep. that to function <laughs> properly as well PlayStation 3 not so much uh they figured that out but at least at this point, uh, the architectural differences were the big thing. Yeah, Ven was mentioning um, that mm-hmm. because all the these consoles are actually sex based, people are like, "Oh, well, we just need a wine type thing." No, apparently the and uh, fail overflow went into this. Apparently the like the architecture is divergent enough from what a PC actually is 
<laughs> that you're going to need something like QMU to uh, step in and do a bunch of hardware emulation. Even mm -hmm. then, if you want, if you want, to, if you want to run this boy, you're going to need a, you're going to need a bit of a badass system, at least 12 gigs of RAM. Um, yeah, at the at the very at the very latest, they've got it booting kernels for uh, the 4.55 and 5.0 uh, kernels. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you have a newer version or an older version, it may not work. Uh, which means you may need to have speci a specific uh, snapshot of whatever PlayStation OS version in time in order to get the um, to get the uh, BIOS. In order for it yeah, to I'm going to have to get uh, Dave and Nathan to like dump their uh, PS4 and PS4 Pro BIOSes. From what you've told me about those two, I, I don't think that there's a chance in hell of them being able to do that. <laughs> Pedro, I melted my PlayStation. You have to I buy put me it a in new the one. Microwave. <laughs> It doesn't work. It's screaming at me. Should I? Give I try. It? I tried to flash it, so I got some magnesium. And uh, I'm pretty sure if I can give him the do this, do this, do this. I bought this trench coat and then for give nothing. Give me back the flash drive. Yeah, that. I think they can follow instructions. Linux VR standard. <laughs> this thing, Kronos is back in action with this nonsense. They are. Um, so um, VR, it's a bit of a mixed bag right now. Varying levels of support, varying methods of actually implementing the VR with the head tracking and the eye tracking and the hand tracking and whatnot. It's getting a little much for developers to uh, have to support all of it. So Kronos has stepped in and said, Hey man, we're going to, we're going to create a set of standards for um, VR and AR, which we're going to colloquially refer to as XR now. Cause the X makes it sound cool. So edgy. Uh, I know. Uh, so right now they've released the open XR provisional not 0 0.90 standard. Uh, which defines uh, API for uh, rendering, frame tracking, frame timing, input, et cetera, et cetera. And hopefully with everyone implementing uh, that according to the standard, VR will start to become a little more sane from a software development perspective. Um, there's already an open source project uh, working on this. Um, it is called uh, Mason, I believe. Um M Monero? Or, yeah, Mesa. Ma 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 Monado. 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 Is, Monado that's yeah, uh, yeah. Collabora is uh, <laughs> supporting it. Um, and yeah, I mean, this is, this is good. Standardization is kind of important. If uh, VR, or AR, or XR, or ZR, or Sigma R is ever going to become a thing. What about Type R? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> only, only if you're driving a Honda. I want my I want uh, my uh, face toast to shoot me with laser beams in the eyes. Yeah, I, I just I just want that sick ass spoiler, man. And like, you, you see companies like Valve who are actually like trying to improve developer tools by uh, like offering Steam input libraries to handle finger and skeletal tracking. But if you don't want to buy into that ecosystem, then you're you've been kind of screwed historically. I noticed that there wasn't any quote from Valve in the contributor section, so I'm um, so uh, spin the wheel of booga okay, booga hey, on hey, that. Hey, hang on, let, let me tell you how, how this went. Uh, they're like, hey Valve, we we got a standard. Hey Oculus, we got a standard. Ring ring, and they. Picked them like, uh, we're, we're not going to make any more of those. Yeah, no, and and and, and, and Valve puts the phone down. VR team, you're fired. Right. Um, we kind of just let go of a bunch of people, so bye. <laughs> but the the the, the fact the fact that uh, the standards will exist and will continue to exist and has quite a bit of buy in from like Microsoft and Oculus and whatnot uh, will probably in and even HTC are will pretty much ensure that. As the VR, AR, whatever XR thing improves, it'll actually start to become usable and people will be able to develop for it and will not be a complete and utter trash fire. Unlike Glitch, who uh, oh, well, kind of well. died unceremoniously. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, yeah, so this was this was a sort of a massively multiplayer uh, game. It was running uh, from 2009 to 2012. Um, and... After after it died, uh, the people involved in making it decided, hey, uh, let's just release everything into the fucking public domain. We didn't, we're not even going to Creative Commons license it or attach some open source uh, license to it. No, it's just it's a public domain. You can just fucking use it. It's it's free to use, available, and this this is good. It's 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 nice when projects do this, especially community supported projects, because they're that way. All that effort and all that time and love that was put into the project doesn't disappear. It can be reused mm -hmm. and recycled. And it's it's good too because uh, now there's a ton of assets for uh, pe for people starting off or for people who are doing game jams to just get something up and running, which I think is a good thing. It allows people to sort of innovate in the gaming space, which is something that we desperately need, and not another battle royale or first person shooter game uh, that just kind of this does is so the same getting thing. battle royale. Shut up! <laughs> it, abs yeah, it, ab totally it absolutely is. One. Yep. <laughs> But yeah, but, it's one of the things that I wish that uh, AAA 
you know, publishers would do since they're the ones who own the IP. Uh, it's like, once you kill off a game, once you kill off an entire series and you're not doing anything with it, rather than just letting it die or languish in obscurity until the end of times, do this. Put the assets uh, out there. <laughs> put... Yeah, just you. If you own the IP and you're not doing anything with it for that's, 10 that's, years. That's, that's, that's like asking there. Disney to like give up some obscure Mickey Mouse character. They're not going to fucking do it. Or um, the Happy Birthday song, yes. <laughs> which which they didn't even own to begin with. That had to get like fucking researched and Here's overturned. It, it'd be nice, hundred percent. It'd be nice, like after a decade or two decades. But I could draw the line at passing a law to make anyone do that. No one's going to fucking yeah, tell but, me I have to give away something I don't want to. Yeah. Plus, like you there, fucking there, there communist, are, there, Pedro. <laughs> there, there are there are there are right there are rights issues too, especially like if people if uh, artists have it in their contract that they uh, like retain ownership to at least some of the intellectual property. Yeah. And then... in that case, you keep those to yourself. It's just the stuff that you actually own that you're not doing anything with. Put it out there. I too would like to live in Let this other fancy people... land of unicorns and rainbows and public assets that corporations put out for the good of the public domain. Yeah, that, hail Mickey. That, that, All right. Yeah. Uh, coming something, up something next. we're all using. Li yeah, we we are. And guess 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 how much abuse of public domain is in Linux? Whoa. How much abuse of free labor is in Linux? Coming up next, uh, it's time to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, or at the very least, accept him as someone who's going to lead you into a buzzsaw. Welcome to the Chairquisition, you bloody heretics! This is where the accused game must survive trial by Fedora, Solus, and Ubuntu, and only then the question can be asked. Was it fun? I'm offended by that photo of, like, the, the, the crappy Jesus, because that looks a lot like me from a couple of years ago. A little bit. A little bit. Uh, it's, uh, it's a little uncanny. Maybe, maybe I am the savior. Speaking of which, we are playing the Savior Gang, developed by Katniss oh. Game Studios. On Unreal Engine 4, you can pick it up for about five bucks, which is about all I'm willing to pay for Jesus. What is it? <laughs> a self-proclaimed savior must travel through numerous ancestral locations, guiding his worshippers to reach the promised land. The numerous dangers that these locations present will make it very difficult for all the worshippers to survive. Uh, the devs did send us some keys, so thanks a lot, Katniss Game Studios. Prepare to be disappointed with your investment. All right, uh -oh. so Ven, <laughs> on Ubuntu, how'd this fucker run? Oh man, let's check it out. That shot is off. We're just gonna have to live with it. Uh, over here on 1810, making it rain, Ryzen 1700, 16 gigajoules of the memory RAM. 2060, man, RTX was not on in this. Does it launch? It launches, does it run? Normally we test this at 1080. <laughs> These guys get into more of that. Had to test it at 2160, 60-ish P, man. No big deal there. Uh, what does it look like? Graphics didn't have any glitches. Everything ran fine, despite how it looks, which isn't necessarily bad. More than that, 11. And it worked. No problem with the son of the X-Clone, the X-Clone Wireless. So I can give it three out of four. Uh, do got to knock it for the same thing you guys are going to knock it for. There, The resolution options are 2160 or not, not. Yes, pretty, pretty yep. much. <laughs> on uh, on Fedora 2864-bit with the 6700K and the GTX 1080 Ti, yes, it does launch. I should hope so. Performance-wise, yes, at UHD, it is crushing it um, with the 1080 Ti. Um, no real issues there. But, you know, if you want to knock this down to 1080p, maybe throw it in a window. Yeah, you don't really have much of a choice. You got 3840 by 2160 or zero. I took the former. Um, yeah, if... <laughs> Pedro will explain more about how to change the resolution. Yeah, we're just going to keep baiting you on this. This is the <laughs> LGC cliffhanger. How will it work? I don't know. Uh, controls. It's yes, they work technically with the Xbox controller and with the with the mouse. I'm I'm minus one DualShock controller, and I'm very sad about it. Um, R.I.P. DualShocky. <laughs> R.I.P. I haven't given that controller a name. I'll have to come up with. It's, it's too late now. It's, Shocky pond. Sp Let's call it pond. Spocky. Yeah, Joint. pretty pretty much. But yeah, I'll I'll get to my specific issues with the controls in the fun segment. For now, it gets three. 
Yeah, and over here on Solus with the GTX 1080 and the Ryzen 5 1600, it launches, no issues, it seems to hold 60 at uh, UHD. When it came time to record the video, what you're looking at right now, if you're watching the video version, it, um, yeah, it doesn't like to change the resolution, like Ven and Jordan already mentioned, it, uh, it gives you the option of, like, whatever your screen is and zero, zero. Uh, so, in order to change it, I had to figure out, okay, so which engine is this game running? Oh, it's Unreal Engine 4. Okay, let's look for the base engine I and I. Where's that stored? Oh, dot config epic. Cool, let's go in there. I changed the uh, res X and Y values to 1920 and 1080, and then the game still started at UHD. It's like, okay, so let's go back and find the other value that I also need to change. Oh, you need to also change the last confirmed X and Y resolution. So yeah, that it gets dinged a chair for that. But for controls with the DualShock 4, it worked out of the box, so. No complaints on that one. Three chairs. <laughs> All right. Well, how, how how about how about fun? Okay, we got, we got to be hundred percent honest on this. Normally, when we get a game like this that looks like this, and I mean, come on, out of the box, uh, am I alone? It's like oh, this looks like a mobile game, so much like a mobile game that mm -hmm. I went and checked and see, and I was like, no, I didn't see it, and it's only four ninety nine. But I'll explain. The humor. Come on, it, I was like, can you make me laugh? You can make me chuckle. Jordan, you enjoyed it as well, but it does kind of look yes. like a mobile game. It plays kind of like a mobile game, and I'm going to bring that up since I put about as much time as I normally would have in a mobile title. I got about 45, 46 minutes into it. It's hella simple. There's not much to it. You click, you drag, you dodge, obstacles, and the shite. You see what you're going on right here is lemmings, but with followers. Uh, it's religious. So, so lemmings, yeah. Lemmings, yeah, same thing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's something you can legitimately just pick up, short spurts, put down just quickly. It doesn't even make you angry because, you know, people are getting slaughter murderated. Not a bad thing. Uh, <laughs> get, get kebobbed. <laughs> it, oh, so it's good. rather fucky when you do have to like move bo bollocks boxes when you do that. <laughs> um, but it's not the charming kind of fucky. Anytime you try to do anything precise, it can get very irritating. On top of that, it does make an honest attempt at humor. And the ongoing SMS chats, which Pedro has disabled for some reason. I don't know why. I'm... No, I haven't. I, I have know, just man. haven't gotten to a part of the level. I, I got <laughs> chatty Jesus. I don't know. Maybe he didn't like you. Uh, that <laughs> is up on my screens when I was playing. The time. It was kind of funny, man. I don't hate it. And, you know, for five bucks, fuck it. Why not? I'll give it a solid three. Yeah. So I, I, I like when you try to exit this game. It's like, you really want to exit? Yeah, God sucks. Do you want to go to hell? Yeah, fuck God. <laughs> um... <laughs> So God sucks indeed. Yeah, uh, this game, uh, this is a game whose two methods of input are deficient in very different and yet somehow inexplicably complementary ways, sort of like Strike Suit Zero almost. Um, <laughs> where, uh, yeah, box pushing, like Ven had hinted at, does not work with the controller at all. The, the highlight, the little icon you need to like click on to highlight does not show up if you want to do fine box movement. You actually have to use the mouse in order to direct your follower idiots to um to push things and yeah i think i think sort of like thumbs up or some thumbs up sums up the uh thesis of this game <laughs> is that religious people are ultimately just followers with blinders on unwilling to look out to see if what their supposed religion is doing is good for them or we'll just get them led into a giant chopping machine or a pit of spikes that's about right <laughs> um I gotta admit, though, Man, yeah, the, the synagogue scarred you. Oh yeah, the the the, 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 the the writing in here definitely definitely made me chuckle a bit. There there there's some every every time Stan shows up, he's like, oh, hi, hi Stan. Um, and yeah, the 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 opening where it's like, and yay, Jesus was all like, what the fuck is this? Like, God, where, what's going on? It, it 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 it's pretty good. If you are a easily offended religious sort, I do not think that this is the game for you. But you should probably play play it anyways. Maybe it will give you a new perspective on your faith. Um, the game itself, though, it basically boils down to waiting out obstacles and juking it, which is kind of complicated because you have a time limit. Um, mm -hmm. but oftentimes, if you do not take it slow, your followers tend to take your holy light as more of a suggestion than fact, and will veer off the course that you have set and that bisected. 
or crushed or any other number of horrible deaths that this game can inflict on them. Some of the puzzles are a little better than others. Um, but a lot of it is just trial and error to so, some, some of them are like, okay, no, this is some basic like Mario pattern shit, but others are like, okay, this is expecting me to take some losses. How do I get through this without, uh, without losing too many guys? And yeah, it's it's set up in this whole Angry Birds type setup where you try to get as high score as a high score as possible, and it's it's just kind of it's just kind of meh, right? Um, yeah, it was it was, it was, it's 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 okay for like five minutes, and then when you realize okay, the game the game is just this, it gets kind of boring. Um, and also there are a couple bits that I had to bash my head against, and I'm like, I'm not I'm not having fun anymore. I'm gonna put this down. I'll give it. I'll give it like two chairs. It's it's okay for a five dollar game. Yeah, that's what I can do. Yeah, no, uh, the that issue we we're having with the box and the controller, I figured it out. Uh, if you're using the controller, each of the face buttons, like the cross, the square, the triangle, and the uh, the circle, each map to a different side of the box. So I basically, tr I tried the that. my controller I tried that. has didn't... letters. You heretic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or A, B, X, Y. No, my, my uh, but, with your ruins, with your pagan <laughs> faith. L listen, listen, my controller only has one button and works in my Atari 2600 and my Sega Genesis. It's good enough for <laughs> Jesus, yeah, no, it's good enough for you. That's how I figured out that it's like, oh, if I hit this button, they stick to this side. If I uh, click this button, they stick to the other side. Okay, I that, get it. That's not communicated uh, at all. No, that's basically yeah, Scientology no, in a nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, the real difficulty here is not so much to figure out what the buttons are, because if you're playing with a controller, you have a limited amount, and the game does claim to support the controller, and, you know, f from my experience, it does. The difficulty here is overcoming the obstacles, which are very time-based, and doing so within the time limit of the level. It's a mobile game through and through that wouldn't go amiss in like a tablet and the sole input scheme was just like the accelerometer basically just um or, or your finger more like it go like yeah go full on uh, hamster ball on it and just play it like that the camera whenever there's like an obstruction in between um itself and the center of the pack it tends to zoom in you as close as it can get to like overcome the obstruction and it gives you this really nice view of your followers quote unquote feet you you get to see their feet real up close and how low res they actually are because they were never meant to be seen that that close have, have, have you have you lost people when the camera does that because i've lost a couple and that that's a big piss oh yeah because oh, yeah. like yeah was... yeah because because like you want to hug the walls because that's the only way to like avoid some of the obstacles mm -hmm. and then zoom right Yep. It happens all the time, and I struggle to enjoy mobile games at the best of times. I think, like, genuine mobile games that started on a mobile platform that I actually enjoyed were um, Angry Birds. Uh, but playing them on PC doesn't really help. And this is the point where I figured out how you uh, work out the boxes because I was hitting all the buttons and I couldn't figure it out. But yeah, no, playing them on PC doesn't really help for me. What do you want to bet so, the... Um, one chair. One chair that, that at some point in development, there were button prompts are supposed to show up there instead of just the... Uh... Oh, mm -hmm. abso absolutely, because it's 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 a thing. It, you have to click on it if you're using the mouse. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you 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 would think that they would telegraph like, "Hey, use a button." If, if it's not like the specific button label, then maybe color coded. I don't know something, anything really. But <laughs> I guess it's about I guess it's about as for informative as actual religion. So I think that might work in its favor. It's the thing. Uh, I didn't mind it for five bucks. Normally, we don't cover. You know, just blow her in. I don't want to say this is a well done game. Some thought went into it, but I mean, it's it's not ashamed of what it is. It's not trying to be anything more than that. And at the price, it's something to pick up, play around with. And it's uh, Unreal Engine, so it's got that going for it. Mm -hmm. and I thought it was a Unity game at first. That's a, that's that's a <laughs> that's how sketchy that was. Also, it just, needs it some just work. Get... your resolution also... shit. Get that fixed. Oh yeah, yeah. It it it, de it definitely goes to show you though that crappy games aren't just the exclusive domain of Unity. You can mm. you can do it in any <laughs> engine. Uh, 
coming up next odd it's odd that we get relationship advice uh emails but you know I, I I got one, so you're gonna I'm, you're gonna watch me ruin someone's life, and we talk a little bit about Steam's or not Steam's Google's new streamy stuff. And I think it's about time we wrap this up. We've seen what the Saviors Gang had to offer us. Now let's see what you have to offer us, because this is a hate mail. Yeah, it's your one chance to let us know exactly what you hated the most about uh, uh, the show. Nope, uh, uh, I'm going to endlessly at reply you on Twitter and like say two words. I mean, and then, then it will show up on the live stream. That. <laughs> but if you'd actually like to have your little spiel featured right here, right now, you can go to loisgamecast.com, hit the contact button, fill out the form. It's pretty easy. Unless, of course, you're a game developer, then I'd only ask that you read that bit at the top. It's like, yo, reading's you hard. Gotta send us three keys or a copy that we can share amongst all of us. Sound good? All right. So, uh, Jordan, why don't you take this one? That's for you, after all. <laughs> okay. Well, speaking of, we were talking about Mortal Kombat a bit in the uh, in, in the in the in the in between segments. So, friendship, dearest Jordan, how do I make friends online? I am from a small town. <laughs> And all of the lugs are reasonably close to my area have not been active in years. I'm trying to find people in Linux and trick them into becoming my friends. You seem to have accomplished this. <laughs> I wondered if you have any advice on making internet friends. Okay, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you in on a secret. Like this. This is this is for this is for real. How I made a bunch of my internet friends back on forums. They had a thing for um. For uh, like, if you wanted to share your please don't uh, say AIM webcams. or I, please don't say webcams. I was, I, a, 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 my CP <laughs> handle or whatever. I would literally click on those of people I thought were cool, and I tried talking to them over that. And if they were interested, you can't really do that these days. I guess maybe on Facebook. I don't know. Just go to places that look busy and then join in the conversation. And if you're not a complete shit heel, you will make friends. Or you can come to, or you can you know pay us money, and then we'll be your friends. Yeah, guaranteed. Uh, I'm yeah. such a clue. No. Uh, <laughs> I'll say this is like if I was like uh, game shops, Cruise uh, yeah. Game Shop, hundred uh, percent. Every time you're, you're... I finish the sentence, Jordan says, "Friendly local gaming store." Yeah, yeah. Go up. <laughs> I mean, there's legit, but I mean, there's also the people that live in those, and they might be like, "What are you doing here?" I walk in, they're like, "You don't belong here. You're not our kind." You throw them out the window <laughs> and they get angry. And... and then you're like, why are you saying that to me? I'm not a woman. Oh, no. There's there, there, are, there are actually some way, places like that. It's gross. One way to actually get uh, Linux nerds to talk to you is if you do like a little bit of um, window shopping and you see someone that's running Linux on their laptop in like the inside of a cafe or whatever, and then you go in, you sit in front of them, and make sure that they can see your screen that you're also running Linux. That often gets people. It's like, oh, you're Pedro, running Linux. Pedro, do you like <laughs> go up to people and be like, "Are you running Linux? I have Linux too. Look at my desktop." Ah. Are you running Arch? Oh, have you not heard what I just said? Nope. <laughs> yeah. Well, I I, I heard Clearly. you say it, but I don't believe that you actually do it. The other the other good place to check out is uh, Hackfest libraries. <laughs> Uh, libra libraries have like uh, a lot of maker resources these days and a lot of those guys are running linux i know this is gonna sound uh, um i'm not just saying buy our merchandise i'm saying this is a very the i've done this i saw a guy re wearing a red hat shirt i was like hey man how's it going that was a uh, like we have a thing in common we're linux yeah, like the oh nice <laughs> <laughs> then they're gonna be like yo you you're on arch then you pick. get away from me. <laughs> I, I, I mean, that, that's kind of how Ben and I met. It was like, it's like you've heard of Linux. I'm like, well, actually, I, I well, went Arch. Like, Do you run Arch? No. Oh. No. It's like okay, then we can get along. <laughs> it's like oh, so you know how to compile a kernel? Um, yeah. Bam, 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 Just bam, bam. You're on Arch. Uh, up next. <laughs> up next, we have um, Cody, and he's uh, well, he's uh, shouting about uh, Stadia. 
my original Xbox is more worth it than some crappy Google Android thing that happens to have a controller. But let's go even deeper. If you have a slim PS2 or a big one with it, either that All right, help me out, Pedro. Why does Cody sound like fucking bad little Nicky? I don't know. <laughs> All right, just, I, 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 I thought it was like semi-muted Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Out of the burn. Out of the burn. Stream games from your own computer. No data spyware included. Popeye's chicken. Thanks to a little program name. called OPL, and that will get you way more better games. Ow. Than Google's hot mess. Duck, duck, go. Yeah, I don't have any voice transmogrifiers loaded for Pedro. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! So, yeah. <laughs> well, I, 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 I think Cody's point here is that you know, actually having the game like located on media that is near you is probably more desirable than streaming games. Hashtag DuckDuckGo. I don't know. He assaults. seems to be going through a bit of a mental exercise for something that you could just say: Raspberry Pi, Steam Link app, done. I, I'm what? <laughs> <laughs> Man, no, no, no! I want some fried chicken. <laughs> Popeyes chicken God is damn it, the now I'm hungry. Bit. <laughs> you know what? On that bombshell, <laughs> let's cue the motherfucking music. You can always find us around 9:30 Eastern Standard Time. That's when this nightmare train pulls off the tracks and into your face. Until then, if you want to scream at me on Twitter like the 500 and 600 retweets I got for a stupid comic I posted, you can do that on uh, at Vin Stone. I'm on Twitter, mass.linuxgamecast.com. I'm at Vin, might be at Vin Stone. I'm not 100% on that, but I'm there. I'll write you back. I'm Jordan Spung. I am greasy like a piece of Popeye's fried chicken. You can find me greasing it up at The Burning Fool on Twitter, plus Jordan Spung on Google Plus for another week and change <laughs> and uh at our mastodon at um mastodonxgamecast.com i'm at frojo i post when i go live streaming and that's about it because i can't social media and i'm from the south the deep south you can find me at unaccounted for on twitter can i mute this, plus this but the me. on google plus go. for you know the two days that, left that, <laughs> that, that was less little nikki and more little finger <laughs> Sansa, you have to come with me to the north. Dying of fire. <laughs> Look at his vampire I love deck. It's so mother. cute. Uh, <laughs> less little Nikki, more little finger. That was pretty good. Uh, we made it, Twitch Tube. <laughs> Or Theron, Another week. Foxy, Empty, <laughs> Atomic, Mike G, Barbara, Drummer Simon, Aldius, Haplo, Mackey. Anyone want to take the producers? <gasps> uh, hell no. <laughs> Gang of them. <laughs> those like those everyone guys. Everyone there is awesome, but there's a it whole adds up, lot man. of you. <laughs> the moral of the story is if you give us money, your name will be on this list. Will you, get, will you feel <laughs> satisfaction? Will you Space feel complete right? in your life? <laughs> I don't know, but Frank will love you. Frank's a little spastic because I might have made the credits like right at the end of the pre-show going, fuck. Uh, oh man, that, that's what we need. We need DLC for the Savior Gang where you replace Jesus with Frank. <laughs> of course there's naked pictures of Ven. Everywhere. He's just not sharing them. There, there, there are pictures of Ven in varying states of dress and undress. This is true. Video, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. I only show titties for tips. Five dudes. <laughs> <laughs>